Okay, once again, good evening, everyone. On tonight's webinar, we will be looking at the basics of share tracking. So, just a normal introductory on share tracking in Compass, how it works, and what all the buttons does. So, first of all, I already opened my share tracking in Compass. I'm on the login screen. My details is already filled in. So, I'm going to click login. Once I'm logged in, I get to my dashboard. So this would be your main page that you will get. First of all, you have your account balances. So your account balances just shows you what your current accounts does. So the accounts that I have, how they are performing in a pie chart. My profit and loss. So out of all my accounts, what am I making versus what I spend would give me my profit or my loss, my market values. If I click on an account that actually has shares in, it gives me the current value of the shares that I have. Next up, I have my accounts. So on my accounts, I get the account name. The market balance is the current net worth of the account cash balance shows me the money that i can still spend so the money that's left in the account investment value how much that i invest in that um, portfolio total brokerage then shows me how much brokerage that i pay ever since i started using my simulation account and then my growth and loss shows me whether i'm busy making a profit or a loss then i get my investment summary for this is my buy sell buy account i get the company's code i get the quantity the quantity is the number of shares that i bought unit cost is what i paid for one share including brokerage total cost is what i paid for all 50 of my gld shares including brokerage I get my current price, that is the current price of one share, my current value, what my 50 shares are worth right now. Today's movement, that's in cents. Your overall move, how did this share perform since you bought the share? And your overall move is in the rand, and you have an overall move percentage, which is percentage wise. Then I have an action button. If I click on my action button, I would then get a window that gives me an option to sell or set my stop loss. And I can also buy additional shares in the company. So I'm gonna click on close window again. Then next up, I have a traded dashboard. This is more for people who want to trade shorter term. Again, the dashboard is the same as the investment dashboard. The only difference would be that on my investment summary, I get the company's code and then I get the direction. So which direction am I trading? Am I trading on an upwards trend or am I trading on a downwards trend? Then I get the number of shares that I bought, what I paid for one share, or what one share was worth when I bought it, what I paid for the shares, that's my margin, my current price, so what one share is worth right now, how the share moved for today, percentage wise, uh, cents wise, sorry, overall move, what did, what's the difference between one share since I bought it and then my profit and loss is telling me whether I'm making a profit or a loss. Again I have an action button, the action button I can close the position in other words sell it or I can set a stop loss on the set TVSL. So I'm going to close there. Next up if I go to analysis, I'm going to go to my world market indicators. 
So here I can see how my resources are performing. I can see the currencies. This is more for people that trade Forex. And I can also get my market indicators. This tells me what the other countries' shares looks like. So how their markets are performing. Then I get my stock movement view. Underneath my stock movement view, if I start on top while it's busy loading, I get my top 40 blue chip shares. So these are your 40 largest companies on the JSE. In other words, you get the company's code, the price per share in rands, and then the movement for the day. If I do not know the name of the company, I can click on it and automatically it will pop up a security detail window where I can find director dealings, dividends, financials, market news, details, a snapshot, and history. I can also buy shares, go and look at my big charts, the charting tool. I can add it to the watch list or I can close the security detail window. Note that on top it says markets are closed. So this, will, um, this page updates every time you go into it. In other words, your stock movement view will update every time you click on it. And it will tell you whether the markets are open or whether the markets are closed. If the markets are open, it will tell you whether the markets are more bullish or bearish for the day. In other words, is the market more positive, that's bullish, or negative, that's bearish. Then I have my top 10 volume. And so volume stands for the number of shares that traded hands during a trading day. In other words, it tells me how many shares were bought and sold in one day. So your top 10 volume gives you the 10 shares that had the most volume. I get the company's code, the closing price in RAN, and the volume it had for the day. If I click on the share, again, I get the security detail window where I can see the company's name, the code, a brief description, its industry, its sector, numbers, email addresses, their residential address, postal address, when their year end is, and their website, if they have one. Next up, I get my top 10 best performers. My top 10 best performers is the 10 shares that's performing the best on the J, uh, is the top, is the 10 shares that's performing the best on the top 40. Not to say the 10 best shares on the JSE. So for today, the 10 best shares out of your top 40 blue chip shares is MNK, SSW, NHM, AGL, IMP, AMS, RBP, GLM, HIR, and PHP. I get the price per share in RANDs and then its movement that it had for today. Again, if I click on it, I would get information on the share. Let's use SSW as an example. I would get information on the share. Next up, my top 10 worst performers. Also from your top 40 blue chip shares. So I get the company's code, price per share in rand and the percentage movement it had for the day. Next up, price earnings average just tells me more or less what I can make out of a sector sense-wise. 
So it gives me an average price what I can make out of a specific sector. Top 10 shares bought by clients. Also not necessarily the 10, the 10 best shares on the JSE. These are just the 10, 10 shares that share tracking's clients buys the most. Your stronger stocks above 200 moving average. So when you get to your charts, you have a red line through your candlesticks. That is a moving average. So when you buy a share, you would rather look for a share that's above average than a share that's below average. Okay. So your st stronger stocks lists all the shares that's above its own average. So I get the company's code, the company's name, and then the percentage that that share is above its own average. Weaker stocks, these would be shares to avoid because they are below their own average. So I would get the company's code, the company's name, and I would also get the percentage that this share is performing below its own average. Next up, I have a positive share sector movement. My positive share sector movement tells me which share is performing the best in its own sector for the day. In other words, ORN is performing the best in the basic materials sector. The current price per share and the movement it had for today. Negative share sector movement. This shows the opposite. So in other words, I would get the share that's performing the worst in its sector for today. In other words, CMO is performing the worst in the basic materials sector. The current price per share and then the percentage movement it had negative for today. Next up, winning shares list. Winning shares list is a list of plus minus 100 shares that has been set up by our guru, Moxima Ugama. Some of you may know her from a webinar. Some of you may know her from the seminars that she does. So Moxima has more than 16 years of experience on the JSE. Last year, she has been appointed as one of South Africa's top five technical analysis. So what she does is she goes and looks at shares for us. She sees this specific share will have a good long-term trend and then she will add it on her winning shares list. Winning shares does not get added every day or every month. It depends on how the markets are performing. That will depend on when a winning shares on when a winning share will appear. First of all, you have a guru watch list. These are three shares that she says we can look at. She gives you a reason for that. But then she says also consider and she gives you three more shares with a reason. Latest performers are shares that, ha that has been performing excellent or above average lately. Recently added is the last shares that she added to the winning shares list. I get the company's code, company's name, the price per share in cents, what it was worth the day she added the share. Latest is its current price per share in cents and the percentage gain. How much profit percentage wise did the share grow or fall? Next up, 
if I go to accounts, there's a longer way to invest. Financials. If I click on my financials, I would then get a summary of how my account is performing, what my current shares are, what does my safety ratchets say. So we build in safety ratchets that gives you an idea if you are not sure what action will you be looking at. Transactions shows you the full history of your account. Cash flow, how the money went in and out. Income and expenses, how much did you make versus how much you spent would give you your balance. Manage accounts, this is where I can add or delete accounts. Calculators, an investment calculator. The investment calculator is designed to give you an optimal break-even point. In other words, I can type in the share that I want to buy there, whether it's the name, whether it's the code. I click on the share. It gives me the current price. Now I can say I want to buy 100 shares. My break-even point turns green, and it tells me, so for me to make my money back, this share needs to grow by 3.93%. If it grows by more than that, that's my profit. It gives me the brokerage that I'm paying. So if I buy 100 Sabanya Stillwater shares, I'm gonna pay 156 Rand and 10 cents brokerage, which brings my total what they are going to deduct from my account to 7,623 Rand and 10 cents. Sell brokerage. When I want to sell the share, I pay brokerage as well, transaction fees. So I must be in mind that they will deduct 137 Rand and 43 cents if I want to sell the share. Now remember your investment calculator is more for longer term trading. Our costs are based on standard banks. Each bank can differ with their brokerage costs. Then I get a break even price. My break even price tells me, okay, you buy at 74 rand and 67 cents in order for you just to make your money back this share must grow to 77 rand and 61 cents per share anything above that would be seen as your profit next up education your education is quite important because you have lecture modules here which you can work through and must work through within your contract period at least 50 percent of that so on your edu on your lecture modules you have four categories and then you have your modules if I click on more, it opens up the full module. At the bottom, it says you should watch the following two webinars now. Please do watch the webinars where they put it in because that webinar can have a link to either the piece that you read or going to read. You just click outside the block to close it. Your exams. Now I did my lecture modules. Now I got like my category was introductory. My module was your motivation. And I start the exam. 
This is a multiple choice exam. Select A, B, or C. You do not physically write in answers. You choose the correct answer. Next up, you have your webinars. The shared track and webinars. Unless there is a specific webinar that you want to watch, you don't need to go and watch these webinars if you do your lecture modules, because the share track and webinars is built into your lecture modules. Next up, you have your live webinars archive. All the live webinars that we do, we load it on here the following day of broadcast. Share track and tubes, more information for you. Webinar bookings, this is where you can see new and upcoming webinars. Like this week, we had a share track and basis unbidder Rudy now on Tuesday from 1 to 1 30. On Tuesday evening from 7 to 7 30, we had the Guru budget portfolio. Start an investment portfolio with just 5,000 Rand. We have the Share Track and Basic One, presenter Carl van Bay, the one you, you are you, you joined, 7 to 7.30. And you have the budget portfolio. Again, this is part two of the Guru from 1 to 1.30. This, this was this afternoon. Last, you have your, lastly, on your education tab, you have your glossary. Your glossary would explain certain JSE terms. News and information. I don't need to go and buy a newspaper to read the market's news. I have a tab on my share tracking in compass that I can use. If I click on news and information market news, you can see it's busy loading. You can see today EOH every underdog has his day and it gives you the story. Let's just wait for it to finish loading. <laughs> Because it's loading all the news and information, it can take some time. Market information. So market information would give me the code, the company's name, the sector the shares in. It gives me the website and it tells me whether this share is still active on the JSE or not. Lastly, you have your media. You have your Facebook, our Facebook page, which you can join, our Twitter page, and also our blog that you can join. That was the webinars for the webinar for tonight, guys. If there's any questions, you are more than welcome to stay behind and ask the questions to those of you who are going to leave the webinar now. Have a lovely evening.